Hello everybody, this is Anna Wim coming to you as Sarah Ryder aboard uh, the Tempest in the Andromeda. And this is just a little update, um, what I've been doing, and some thoughts on Mass Effect Andromeda. So, uh, I've got about 20 hours into the game so far. And I have to I have to say, uh, I enjoy the game, but uh, and unfortunately, the uh, PS4 just doesn't have the graphics capability uh, of the PC or the Xbox One. So it's one of the reasons why I've been commenting on the low quality graphics, and lo and behold, it is the PS4. <laughs> doesn't that figure? Anyway. Uh, just wanted to let you, everybody know we're going to continue this next week. I was off for a couple of days. I had, you know, real life things to have to take care of, doctor's appointments and things like that. And uh, so we'll be back at it next week, playing Andromeda. It's a blind playthrough, so hopefully you'll all join me and watch me fumble around. I've done some work off stream uh, to learn how to use the ship and things like that so you know all the different things that you get to do aboard here you know like down in here is uh for instance it took me a while to find it i have to use the map a lot there's your loadout station and i don't think there's anything down there yet and just finding your way around the ship is troublesome at least for me it is uh, if you take those ladders down, that's where your quarters are, right underneath there, as the Pathfinder. Uh, I was very confused hey, about see. this research your center, the R&D terminal. You know, I spent some so hours working on it yesterday. So, uh, the buy and sell kiosk is pretty much self-explanatory. Uh, and you need a lot of resources. This is kind of weird how this thing works, the AVP years old and fussing at us like a matriarch. Uh, form. Well, you can't get these guys to shut up in this game, can you? Um, strike team. Haven't had any missions for them yet. I don't think I have the right perks yet. Um, so as you run around the uh, Tempest, you have all these different little places you have to go. and You're going to spend a lot of time running about. I find the uh, some of the stuff, some of the minutia in the game, for instance, crafting weapons and <clears throat> What not a bit much uh, for this type of game. Uh, it's rather involved. Um, you have to collect a lot of resources to build stuff. You can research things. Uh, rather strange, like I said. Um, you can go up to the observation lounge up here. Which gives you this beautiful panoramic uh, view of everything. And this is where you, you know, meet everybody after, you know, mission briefings and whatnot. And here's your VidCon. So, um, but the, I find the biggest thing I have, problem I have with is the uh, controls. Uh, the user interface, if you look, if I can get somebody to, uh, to actually do something. Um, if you look at the text and stuff, it's awfully small, it's in white. So anything that, uh, I mean, here, we're standing just a few feet away from how small it says, I mean, we know it's a door, but uh, the color scheme that they're using is rather off, if you ask me. So just a lot of little piddly things. The minutia of the game uh, takes a bit for me to get used to, but I'm working on it. I'm working on it, I promise you. Uh, there is the Nomad, and the Nomad has no weapons. Uh, I did upgrade it. I got a real fancy paint job and added some other things to it to help maybe it survive a bit longer. Uh, without guns, that means you have to run your opponents over, and it suffers damage fairly easily. I'm in the galley when so. you're free. Oh, that is my, uh... Let's see, this is the engine department. Yeah, there's our drive core, and uh, so there's my Nomad, which is uh, 
rather depressing, actually. It's hard to drive and no guns, so... Yeah, you spend a lot of time uh, putzing with it. But like I said, the uh, the biggest thing, you see the little icons at the top? That's your map type thing that tells you where to go and where stuff is. And It uses all icons, and you have to constantly jump to the map to, you know, so in the lower right-hand side is what level you're on. And you can go through different aspects of the map by moving that up and down. Uh, how did I do? Here we go. So, I just figured that part out. So, it does come in handy, but, uh, so if you want to know about your icons, this is what, show legend. There we go. Just a few items that you're supposed to try to keep track of in your head, I guess. So, man, it's a lot. So, um, I find it difficult. Maybe others won't. I don't know. Um, maybe I'll get used to it eventually. Perhaps. I don't know. So, uh, but overall, I'm enjoying the game. It's uh, I'm streaming it live, as everybody knows, who follows me. Normally I do fall off, but this game was requested by my peeps. So, lo and behold, that's what I do. So I'm going to take a back walk back up to the bridge. So anyway, I just wanted to do a little channel update and give you my thoughts on Andromeda. Um, when you search planets, maybe so I'll do one right here. Who's that woman I keep seeing you with on the Nexus? What? Oh. See how difficult? To me, it's you very difficult to read this stuff. Come back. Is it because of her? See, like at the top, it's any place where it's, it's complicated, white, so and then it uh, a lot of stuff has a white background. And boy, does it make it hard. So, but let's just let's just go to a. Uh... So I've already checked all these planets out, uh, but see, like right there. So, and here's what happens when you do every one of these. You want to go to this one? There's a little zoom out, zooms into the planet you're going to. And this is just a search for resources, guys. And you have to search every frickin' planet, because there's possible leads for where the arcs are, and all kinds of stuff. So, uh, you know, you do the, do the scan, and it'll tell you if there's anything there, and then you launch a probe. And, you back out, and you back further out, and now you want to go to another planet. And, uh, and I'll just go over to this one here. I'll go to Aya. Let's go here. And I think that's where we were at. Let's go to this one. So this is what drives me nuts, is this panning back and forth for every freaking planet. It gets old really fast. And, uh... Kills a lot of freaking time. So, anyways, like I said, so far I'm enjoying the game, and hopefully you guys will join me next week as I continue uh, streaming this. So, is there anything here? I've already done this. So, but see, like at the top, you can't hardly read the thing. It says, you know, progress, progression 100%. So, I've, I've apparently sorted all this stuff out here. So, but anyway. Uh, just wanted to bring you up today, give you some thoughts on it. Uh, everybody else who's tried this, I've heard some pretty mixed things on it. If you're on PS4, uh, the graphics leave a bit to do you desired. Yes, there's some glitching. My first day I was playing this, it glitched out on me, and I had uh, I ended the stream and then restarted it. So yeah, it worked out. But uh, anyway, hope you all having a good day, and I'll see you next week. Uh, Monday through Friday, starting at noon, Arizona time. And we will be Sarah Ryder once more and the intrepid crew of the, uh, whatever the ship is called. I already forgot. What's it called? I forget. Yes, that's where I'm at. Okay. See you, boys and girls. Have a